Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this episode where we are going to do Elon's first bareback and bridalist ride. I'll share with you guys some tips along the way. So first off, I'm just checking to make sure that he follows me willingly because if he can't even follow me at Liberty, then he is definitely not calm and connected enough to get on him bareback and bridalist. But I'm not starting with any type of headgear to start with, so we're not doing any steering with reins or anything first. We're just kind of going right to the bareback and bridalist. And bareback is something that we have to do sometimes in extreme cowboy racing. And I'm hoping to train Elon to be my little extreme cowboy pony. And we may get us to do bareback among many other things. So I figure we may as well start trying to do bareback. Bareback can sometimes feel a little bit different to horses. It can be a little bit weird, especially when you don't have a bareback pad as well. So this is a, a little bit different for him because I'm going to be directly on his back. I don't ride bareback most of the time for several reasons, um, starting with it gets your pants dirty when you ride bareback uh, on your horse. Uh, secondly, it's harder on your horse's back. You're sitting right directly on their spine. So it's not as comfortable for both you and your horse as if you have um, like a thin line bareback pad, for example, which has the impact protection foam in it, gives some support to the horse and protection. Not every horse is created equal. Elon is actually a little bit round and he's pretty comfortable to ride. So bareback on him is more comfortable than let's say going bareback with no bareback pad on, let's say, Alicia, my thoroughbred. They're definitely not all the same. And uh, when you use a saddle with weight distribution panels, for example, it just helps to make it more comfortable for the horse. So most of the time I ride in a saddle and if I am going to ride bareback, then I usually use a thin line bareback pad. So these are our first few steps of doing bareback. And of course, we're also bridalists at the same time. So we're literally just doing a few steps at a time and then stopping and rewarding because Elon still has a bit of a flight instinct in him. For the most part, he's pretty good. And you guys see me do a whole bunch of different things on him. But every so often, he can have a moment where he gets spooked and he does want to take off a little bit. He's never ran away super horribly that we haven't gotten him back or that he's uh, stayed in a panic state. He's pretty good about bringing his energy back down. But nonetheless, we want to make sure that he doesn't start thinking about running off or bolting or anything like that. So we're just starting with rewards after just a few steps, went going forward, now going backwards, just offering those rewards. And you can see how high his head is. And as we go through this video, you're going to see his head going a little bit lower and lower. So I figured I'd show you guys some of the beginning footage. And then in a minute here, I will start to show you some clips throughout and then show you how we finished off at the end. But take a note now at the start, how high his head is. And he's taking the cookies there pretty nicely, which is good. A little bit reluctant to bed, bend his head. He wasn't bending his head as fully. So starting off not super confident in what we're doing. Here's just a little bit of steering, doing very, very basic stuff. I'm trying to keep my body just moving with him and kind of staying out of his way a little bit. Here's a little bit more into the session, working on the steering and the turning. There's some spots where it's pretty deep stand, so he kind of sand, so he kind of uh, tromped through that a little bit there offering him another little cookie. And every time I offer him a cookie, it's a chance for me to see how well is he bending his neck? How well is he chewing? Because those give me little clues into how relaxed he really is. Sometimes horses can look like they are relaxed, but they're not really all that relaxed. They're a little bit going frozen or not able to think clearly. So offering that food helps me assess those things even more, as well as boosting his motivation and even encouraging some relaxation because it gets them to start chewing, gets them to start having some feel good feelings after having the food as well. So there he already bent his neck much easier to take the cookie. So kind of showing how that's progressing. Here's a little bit of sped up footage to just show you that we worked on doing those turns a few times and I gave those cookies and pauses as well and did even more turns and lots of turning around, but I didn't feel like you wanted to watch, you know, 10 minutes of me walking around on my horse doing turns and cookies. So I've just 
sped this up to kind of give you an idea of the amount of time that I spent without making you sit through it all. <laughs> so fast forwarding a little bit more towards the end of our session, here's our first trot going bareback in bridalist, which is pretty cool. So we just do one little kind of turn. I'm kind of holding on to the mane a little bit to stabilize myself to just make sure that I really don't grip on him. Wouldn't be good if I grabbed on with the legs. Notice how my legs stay pretty relaxed through the whole thing. I kind of grip or um, I grip down to my knee area ish, but my lower leg generally just kind of stays pretty loose and floppy. Careful not to just hold on to him tight there because that would be a cue potentially to mean something to him. So I'm just mostly sitting off of my balance point and then kind of my thigh muscles holding me onto my little pom pom there, doing my little turns. And this is one of the things too that helps with using your legs for steering is to make sure that you're not gripping with the lower leg. Otherwise you can't use your legs to communicate different things to your horse. So he did that really, really well. We, um, we finished after, I think it was a 20 minute session in total. We did walk, we did trot, felt like he was a total superstar helps that he's nice and smooth. And then of course I always like to end my sessions on a really good note. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first bareback and bridalist with Elon. Thanks for watching.